So I'm watching Penn and Teller and they're talking about religion and belief in religion. And what I notice is it seems to be like a special segmented section on YouTube for black people who don't believe. I understand it, but it's a little crazy. You know, it's not accepted at all. If you're a black man, a black woman for that matter, a black person, you can't say you don't believe in religion or the faith or any kind of faith, especially if you're denying Christianity or Islam, which I think is kind of really not fair because some of us like to think. And the minute you begin to think, you start to question the way things are set and how things are seen and done. I went on a journey and did the research on Christianity and I did some research on Islam and I did some research on Buddhism and things like that to figure out what to tell my son. I'm a father of five, so I wanted to make a good decision on what to tell them when they start to ask me about their spiritual guidance. And what I found is just, to me, to sum it up, it's like, all of this stuff was created by some rich man somewhere at some point in history to control the masses. And I think it's time that we break that. Enough time has passed, enough technologies around that we know the truth about things. And people really need to grow up, be responsible for themselves and take that full responsibility. You know, I came up in a, in a Christian home. My mother, <laughs> this conversation is just a no-go with my mother. But she has some good points, and I understand her point of view, and I don't want to crush her world or wreck her world for her. But I often tell her, you know, without saying short, anything short of this isn't real, Mom, I often tell her, you need to read some of the information on how this came to be. So she often asks me, well, how'd your information come to be? Didn't the man write that? And my argument to her is yes, but it was research that gave credibility to what they wrote about the non-existence of the religion. But like most religious people, my mom doesn't want to hear that. She takes that in the direction that she feels it needs to go in. And she says things like, well, it's the same thing could be said about where you're getting your information from. And I guess to a certain angle, she's right. So I don't really argue it down with her. For that matter, I don't want to argue with anybody about religion. I would just be interested in people just doing the research for themselves and finding out the truth, especially black people. I often, after I learned about Christianity, its origin, where it came from, I often wonder how can a black person be a Christian? How? How can a black person take up that religion? Knowing all the things, all the connotations that came with that religion against us. You know, I'm just saying. But anyway, these are my points of views. It's my page, it's my YouTube page. It's my point of view, so that's the way I see it, and that's the way I'm going to post it. Please comment, don't be afraid, tell some friends to come and check it out, and I'm going to tighten up a little bit. You see the scene looks a little garagey <laughs> right now, but we're going to get it a little better. I'm going to get a shave and come a little bit more presentable, but this is like the first dry run, and I thought this would be an interesting topic to start with. Um, I will also eventually list people that I go to on their YouTube page and check out their stuff, who I subscribe to. Because I got a lot of great people where I listen to their stuff and I'm always entertained and I like it. So this is my first venture into that. So see you next time and thanks for coming through. Seth's video show. Yeah.